guys, Mr. Rankin RC. Just doing a quick update here on my Slash 4x4. Uh, let's see, well, it's got the new body on it. Not sure if y'all have seen it yet. Actually, I'm pretty sure y'all have, and I told y'all it was going to be a display only body. Well, I lied. I couldn't help but to start playing with it. Uh, it's a really cool body. I really like what I did with it. But, uh,. It's got quite a few performance upgrades that I want to show you all. So let's pop the top here. After I pull these pins out of the back. There we go. Okay. Slash 4x4. Let's take a look at the upgrades. Castle Creations Sidewinder SV2. 5,000 milliamp. Uh, Traxxas LiPo, 11.1 volt 3S. Uh, that little motor delivers so much punch, it's unreal. It's a uh, 4600 kV. This had all the plastic dry shafts on it, and within five minutes of driving, I snapped all four. Uh, so I've upgraded to front and rear MIT CVD shafts. Can't really see them that well on the camera, but they're in there. Assembled with red Loctite, just like MIP uh, asked y'all to do. And then I've got the blue aluminum rear bearing carriers. Uh, you can see my alignment is off a little bit. Need to do some adjustments there. It's got the RPM arms all the way around, RPM nerf bars, RPM bumpers, and the RPM mud flaps. And uh, that's pretty much it for upgrades on here. Uh, the truck's a beast, that's for sure. Uh, if y'all want to do a motor upgrade, uh, you know, maybe your Valenian system burned up or something, the uh, SV2 is a, a good way to go for, uh, you know, cost efficient and uh, very powerful. It's very uh, economical, too. This battery will last me probably half an hour to an hour, depending on how I'm driving. Uh, really nice setup. I like it. Uh, it's got the Duratrax wheels and tires. I know uh, Duratrax is more of a, a cheapy brand, but uh, these tires are made of a real nice compound. I really like the tread design, and I like the wheels as well. And, uh, you know, these tires, they have a real good compound, real hard, and uh, they handle the power really good. So uh, I actually recommend those tires. Normally I only go with Pro Line stuff. But I recommend these for anyone who's got a slash tool drive or 4x4. So uh, that's the, uh, you know, upgraded review of my slash 4x4. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.